South Square, what up? Brooklyn is a gangster, gangster. My nigga Jai's a gangster, gangster. My nigga T is a gangster. South Square, won't you come fuck with the gangster, gangsters? Brooklyn, we gangsters, gangsters. But now really the gangster for wangsters. I hate niggas. What up, what up, what up, what up? Delson Holloway, Executive Vice President, Don Diva Global Media. For those of y'all who don't know, you know how the round table is. We getting ready to do a special edition. I'm getting ready to come, cause y'all girls been telling me I ain't had no girls on the segment. Not only do I got a, 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 a premier woman, I got a boss, 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 boss woman. She go by the name of Jaton Green. She owns real estate. She does Maybach type of events. She got her own shoe store here. And I want to come interview her, let her tell her a little bit about yourself. So come walk with me while we go into the mind of a female boss. So Jaton, finally got you on the round table. Round table, what's up? You know I was getting a lot of flack from my women watchers. They was like, I ain't had no women on there. And you know the whole premise of the show is we talk to bosses. And so I was like, well, I just can't put any woman on the show. You know what I'm saying? So I had to come get a boss That's and it. yeah we're gonna jump right into this right there's something that i think that's real phenomenal about you i've been watching you, and you know we, we personally know each other so i've been to some of your events and you know i'm telling the viewers that all of the things you got on really impressed me um particularly for being a woman and a woman of color you have a lot of things going on so let's get right into it let's tell a little the people a little bit about yourself let's get into your background how you started um Okay, I'm Jaton from the Bronx. Boogie so, there. There you go, all day, story Ave. And um, how I really got started is I left Verizon, I became a realtor. I worked for such 21, worked for a couple of companies, and I got my own business. How long was you doing the real estate thing? I've been in real estate for now for 15 years. Okay. Now, because we get into this boss thing, right? You working for Verizon, then you started working for uh, Century 21. Uh -huh. Did you always know you was going to do your own thing? Of course. I can't, I can't work for nobody. I got to be my own boss. Okay. So, so. And you know, it's a process, so people got to realize you just don't jump into being a boss. You got to learn it, you got to master it, and then you step out on your own. So I was essentially 21 for about three, four years, and then I was like, okay, take your craft and move on and put my head, you know, and take it to the next level. So I bought a Remax franchise. I was the only, I was the youngest woman owner of a Remax franchise. Wow. Yeah. People don't know that either, but that did really well. Had a whole bunch of agents working for me, and it did How well. How many agents? Seventeen. Now listen, because you can't be skipping through stuff like this because this is serious <laughs> stuff, and we need to know details. I want to know. So you had seventeen people working. Where was the office at? The office was in Hackensack on Main Street. Okay. Did well. With franchises, you have a time frame. It's a five-year time frame. I didn't renew it. I wound up just opening another business. Green prestigious property. It's called a mom and pop real estate. This franchise is a lot of fees, but I'm still a realtor. I'm still a broker. And I still have, now I have 15 agents. The market dropped, so it kind of weeded out the people who wasn't really a realtor, who was faking, mm -hmm. just trying to get a quick check. But I still do the real estate, and I'm very successful with it. I do sell houses to all the celebrities, K. Michelle. I don't know if you remember, I was on um, when Nancy C. proposed to Yancey on Love and Hip Hop. Yeah, Love and Hip Hop. Of course, yeah. I remember well, that. You I want mean, me to act like I don't remember? A year ago. <laughs> they don't know. They might know. Well, just in case they don't know. Yeah. But, you know, yeah. So that was my house. I was, you know, he was going to buy that house. So I've been doing this for a long time. The Michael Strahan's, the Wesley Snipes. Okay, so like, how you get plugged into, let's go back a bit. How you get plugged into all of these celebrities and superstars? Like, I'm fabulous. Oh, of course. <laughs> okay, all right. You, you was a, I can't give you all my secrets. All right, all right. But you was a ghetto celebrity, basically? Um, Which came first, the real estate or the parties? The real estate came first. Okay. Real estate came first, and what happened, people would always invite me out. Oh, you know, you got a nice crowd. When you come out, you bring people, you bring the right people. Why don't you do your own event? So I got leaned into that. And it went well. Like, I done did gospel shows with Marvin Sapp and CCBC Wining. Like, I done did a lot of stuff. We did parties at Wesley Snipes' house. We did, we do nice, extravagant yeah, I said, parties. I said y'all do the Maybach yeah, event. Yeah, we, so we take the whole nother level. When you say we, door, when you say we, who's we? Well, I started out with um, Brian and Blue, Dream Team. Okay. We used to do all the mansion parties. Like, you had to be dressed. You know, we had people coming up with the Ferraris. Style. 
Yeah, official. Yeah. Real official. Bottles flowing just keep coming. Like, nice pool. Talk about these houses is 10,000 square feet. Wow. Million dollar homes. So you had to be worthy to even be invited to these parties. Oh, so, you know, that's how everybody was like, oh my gosh, your events are so fabulous. Doing that for a little while. And, you know, everybody just wanted me to help them to party. So it, it worked out. Me and, okay, you know, now, the next business. The shoe store? The shoe store. Because okay. you had about three or four of them, I think. No, I got a whole bunch of stuff going on. Well, I opened the shoe store in two. What made you do that? Because, again, remember, all of my viewers don't know who you are. Okay. So you was a fly superstar. Basically, I always was into fashion. I always liked to take it to the next level. Like, everybody go to the cookout with sneakers. I've come to the cookout with some shoes. Just because I like to be different and do my thing. So being I always loved fashion, I got caught into the, well, not caught into, but the whole shoe business just caught my attention. I feel a woman's shoes says a lot. So that you kind, of, you kind of fell into that, though? Well, I liked it. I actually loved it. And I realized this is something I wanted to do. Mm -hmm. Shoes, like if you ever notice when you hear people talk about the girls on the red carpet, the ladies on the red carpet, they mention them shoes. Mm -hmm. They might talk about the dress, but they going to say, oh, them shoes are Gucci, them shoes are this one. Shoes say a lot about everything. Mm -hmm. So me and I always love shoes. and got thousands, hundreds of shoes in my closet. I was like, you know what? Let me take this to another level. Let me open a shoe business. Okay, so now, stop right there. Saying you opening the shoe business, because you know, we don't want it to sound like, for, for the young females out there to say, well, she just opened a business, she just opened it. How did you do that? Real estate. Okay, so, no, I'm talking about, like, what was the first thing you did? You said, all right, I'm going to go buy, I'm going to open a shoe store. Where did you go get the shoes? Who did you, who did you talk to? Where did you? Well, I spoke to a lot of other business owners, and they gave me a couple of, they gave me, you know, some direction. Like where you used to buy your shoes and stuff from? Yes, exactly. Okay. Like actually, one of the places I used to buy my shoes from was Petit Patan. Petit Patan was on 8th Street, very popular store. Yeah. And um, one of the gentlemen that worked at Petit Patan now manages to tame shoes. Oh, okay. Baby, come over here for a second, please. <laughs> What's up, man? Anybody who bought shoes back What's in the village that? knew that this was the shoe store to go to was okay. Petit Patan. So now, how could I lose when I got him in my corner? Well, you He's been doing this for 30 years. That's so he up. like... Gave me his crab and it's, it's a gold mine. So how did you pull, team. How did you pull team. that off to get him to come with you? Just by saying, because we, because what I want to get into, right, is yes, your style, the essence of you, how you do what you do. Because what's important to me is this, right? My thing is to always talk about the trendsetters, the trailblazers, and people who transcend things, right? But you got multiple companies going on. Real entrepreneur, and I'm very proud of you. I, I, I tell you, I'm very proud of you. And I want the young women that's looking up, that's looking at, that's viewing this, to be able to say, wow, she did that, I could do that. So the dumbest question is the question I ask. So forgive me when I be pausing you, and I kind of want you to just go from A to B, but it's for them. You know what I'm saying? Because you just making it sound so easy. No, it's not easy. And let's, let's back up some. Okay, so I have two degrees. I have associates and I have a bachelor's from John Jay. So I've always been very educated in, you know, being a minority, mm -hmm. coming from the Bronx, you know, five people in a two-bedroom apartment, mother on welfare, okay. mother bartender. It's hard. Right, right, right. You're either going to stay where you at or you're going to work hard to get up out of there. Right. So with that being said, I've always worked hard. I would go to the club, hang out till five in the morning, but I went to school the next morning. Wow. Where all my girlfriends, none of them graduated. I graduated from high school. Like, no matter if I was in the rooftop the night before, I still graduated from high school. No, no GED. I walked down the aisle. Because I always had in my mind, like, you can have fun, but don't lose focus. Because this fun shit going to be over. The pretty face, the body, all that going to fade. Then what you going to have? Right. The man, they're going to do a little bit, but they ain't going to do everything. So you better have your own, take care of your own. I have a daughter. She's in Penn State. God is good. She's a junior. No loans. But I do that. If I have a partner who helps, that's a beautiful thing. But if not, I do that by myself. So Where that's that, what girls need to know. Hmm? Where did that drive come from, that ambition? I guess my mother raised me. Like, just make sure you do what you got to do so you can yeah, take care of yourself. Sisters? I have two brothers. My oldest brother, I gave him my kidney. He's been having... Wait a minute, wait a minute. Stop. <laughs> okay, hold on, hold on. What? You a realtor, a shoe store, party promoter, and you a noble person? Of course, you got to be noble. Family's everything. Me and my now, wait a minute. Hold on. Now, see, this is some <laughs> things know I didn't know about you. And, yo, you listen, you know, I brag about you. You know what I'm saying? And, I, and, and like, when I meet girls, and, and particularly a lot of girls who enter the bags and 
the shoe game and it's just you know, all right, right. And right. my thing is, okay, you get in with an athlete or a dude to try to make these things happen, but when you get a certain age or gravity sets in, he's gonna get another hot chick because it's paper like that. Then what you gonna do? Or and, being around, that money's going. Then what you gonna do? Right. They put you in a spot and your rent is twenty five hundred or your more. And for the record, I own my house. I've always owned. I've been owning since I was twenty seven years old. But if it's rent or mortgage, as soon as he's not around, as soon as he don't have no more money, you going back to the projects? No, that's not an option. I think I wanted to get into the mind frame, the the things behind Jaton. You know what I mean? Like I wanted to get into the ambition, the DNA, because that's kind of what I want to highlight. And like I told you before, I'm proud of you. Very Thank proud you. of you. You know what I mean? And I, I big you up. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, I speak highly of you, and I, I always I send girls here. You know what I mean? I'm like, yo, listen, you go, go over there and spend some time. Go over here and see my little sister. But that being said, people always say, well, why are you always been up? And I, I'll tell the backstory, yo, because you're talking about a, a sister who did this. Like, real talk, you be blowing some dudes out. Thank you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so it's like, it's, like, it's like some dudes that could take some pointers from you. Thank you know what I'm saying? So. That's why we wanted to interview you. That's why we wanted to give you the look. That's why we wanted to come highlight you and give you the opportunity to give your spill and tell your story. But it's really important and inspiring to a young sister looking up and saying, wow, she, when you, what was paramount to me was when you said, yo, I hung out, but I got up in the morning with the school because I see all too much and it pains me when you see these young girls and I don't got no problem with you stripping. I don't care what you do to get your bread. That it ain't makes sense. Right. Make but the thing sense. is, you just can't do that forever. Forever, exactly. So that's got to be a plan to go somewhere else. Exactly. And you kind of like are given a roadmap. So we really need to highlight you and get people seeing it. Because like when they got the models with the first rap, rap labels and dudes came out, th there was a first for that. Right. So now we need to get the first females and let them know like everybody don't have to be a stripper. That's so right. To get some it's bread and way. drive a nice car. Everybody ain't got to fuck a basketball player to be on a reality show. Everybody ain't got to be fucking a rapper to get some money. No, you can get your own money, boo. Yeah, and that's kind of where I wanted to go in. So we did the um the real estate thing. What's the real estate company called now? Green Prestigious Properties. And where is that located at? It's in Burgerfield, New Jersey. Burgerfield, New Jersey. And the shoe store. Jatam Shoes. Let me just give you a little history about Jatam Shoes. I know everybody's like, oh, okay, you just didn't open up a shoe store from the bottom. I mean, and wind up in the mall. The first store was in Brooklyn, or you know, across the street from the Barclays Center on Flatbush Avenue. We was there for about three years. And then, um, you know, the mall opportunity came about, which was very, I worked hard to get in here because honestly, there's no black owners in this whole mall. This is the biggest mall in Jersey. So, you know, they got, they, they careful about who right. they let up in here. And I wind up closing the Brooklyn store coming here because it's obviously more traffic, better location. But I started, I said all that to say is I started at a, a street, you know, a regular storefront. Right, store. yeah. You can go to anybody and rent a, st a storefront. It's harder to get in the mall. But I just start lower. And then you graduate. Once okay, you so feel, when you said it's harder to get in the mall, what, what hard? Your finance has got to be right. Your credit got to be right. They don't just, you know, they, it's a branded mall. So they want branded stores. That's global stores, like a Foot Locker. Like they want stores like a Nine West. Stores that make them look good. So what was so, the difference? How did you get in there? Good credit, good financials, bro. <laughs> Hello, this is what I'm talking about. All that, you know, you can't have all the cards and the jewelry and don't have nothing on paper. You got to make sure this shit is right or it's useless. No question. Can't have the money under the shoe box. They ain't doing nothing because when you go to get a loan, you go get a, a mortgage, they're going to be like, but you're not worth nothing. No <laughs> What's your worth? Question. That car, that watch is not worth nothing to us. No question. They don't care about that. So where you see yourself, because obviously this ain't it. Of course not. It can never be. Do you have any more plans coming up? Um, I'm going to do a couple more stores. I'm going to do one in Atlanta. And I'm going to do one in Miami. And I'm just going to branch off and see not where it takes me. I, I'm thinking about California. I don't know. It's just it's a lot of work. It's far. Far. It's far. So at least some land I can get there in two hours. Miami and Atlanta is definitely next on the agenda. It's needed. Like, I get emails and Instagram all day. We need a store out here. Even though, you know, they buy online. But people want to sometimes come and try it on. So I'm definitely looking to do Atlanta or um, Miami. So how's the party thing? Are you still doing that? Of course. I just had a fabulous party. Harlem Nights was my birthday. We oh shut it God. down. Here we go. Go ahead. Yeah, my birthday that you didn't come to. <laughs> but we're not going to keep dwelling on how, how you come I didn't come? me. How come I didn't come? Cause you didn't want to come. <laughs> like, I was, we, and no, actually we came. We wasn't dressed right. So what you still should pay. You done, you can come like as is. And oh, I would have gave you a pass. I'm that kind of guy? Yes. Okay. 
next time I know. But you know, we wanted to make sure you look good. We brought I the toys out and all my homeboys. We supposed to be in the Bible. building, buy me bottles for my birthday, not the toys well, outside. Well, I, owe, I, I owe you one. You owe me. I'm gonna yeah. hold you to that. No, I got you. Um, so you got a couple more stores coming out. Any more plans with the real estate? Real estate's doing good. I'm not sure. I was thinking about doing another franchise. I'm not sure. Because right now we're doing good. So, you know, with a franchise, you got to split your money. Mom and Pops, you keep that money in house. Question, so, if question. it's doing good, why Yeah, we know, always want to kind of spend our own money to make a backtrack. Yes. Because we forgot something important. You got the Love and Hip Hop connection. You got the Mob Wives connection. Yes, Renee. Let's talk about how all that happened. From you just being fabulous again? Of course. But a little bit deeper. Mm -hmm. Um, Renee Graziano, I've been on the Mob Wives. Me and Renee's going to do a shoe line called Mob Wives Jatam Shoes. Me and Renee got history before Mob Wives was even thought about. We actually had two male friends. We was both dating two guys that was friends before that show even came about, like way back in old 2005. So, you know, she loves me, like regardless of all that show stuff. So. And then the. Uh, and me and Z, that's my people. I sold me and DC his townhouse in Jersey. So when he when he threw out a soul scene and said, Oh, I'm ready to make that move for Yanzi, he called me. He was like, That's not even he told the producers I need her as my realtor. That's is not it, negotiable. Is, is it cool if we ask you about some of the clients you had that you sold oh, houses? Yes, for? of course. I sold house to Chrissy and Jim Jones, the house you see on Love and Hip Hop. Uh -huh. I sold them that house. I just put Joel Santana and I'm in the studio. I'm working with Michael Strahan now. He's getting ready. But yeah, I mean this is what I do. And all that come from like your partying, your networking. It being network. a good person. Let's be clear. It's not just partying. It's like when you do good business and people, you know, work good. It's referrals. Like, right. oh, Word she's, of mouth. Right. She's private. She's not telling you where you live at. She's not discussing your credit score. You know, she see you. It's business. When we're doing business, if you might see me in the club, that's something separate. But people respect me as a realtor because I'm professional. And that's real important. Say that again. You have to be a professional. Question. You yes. can't you can't get somebody out and then put it out on a gram. Thank you. Like I said, do you still do real estate? Why you don't post it? What am I gonna post? That I just sold a house and this is his house? No, I don't want nobody posting my address on Instagram. No, I'm yes, I'm still a realtor, but everything is not for Instagram. Right, and everything is not for everybody. Every, yes. Because some of you do that, person, people, people don't even want you to know they buying houses because they might not want you to think they have money. So I'm not putting none of that on Instagram. Right. Okay. People I named, they already, you know, they already disclosed that I'm their realtor, so it was okay for me to name them but you know if they don't I'm not gonna discuss it it's not for everybody okay so now the store is in what's the name of this mall again? Garden State Plaza Mall it's the and, biggest mall in New Jersey and the store is called what? Chatam Shoes Chatam's I know Hello. that I'm just making sure they know that man uh, where your Instagram at your, 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 all your hands Instagram is Chatam Shoes that's J-E-T-A-I-M-E -E, okay. shoes with an extra S alright you got Twitter Facebook oh, and K Michelle is another real estate client. I'm sorry. Okay. It just popped in my mind. Give me all your handles. Up. Um, I don't do the Twitter. It's just Instagram. It's visual. You get to see the shoe. You get to see the products. You get to do a Facebook buy. thing. Of course, Facebook. But it's connected to my account, okay. Jaton Green. My name is J I T O N. It's only one of emails. Me. Anything you want to? No, no. Okay. They want me. Then go and DM me on Instagram. My Instagram, my personal Instagram is I am Jaton. I am J I T O N. I believe in keeping it separate. The okay. shoe store has their Instagram, and I have my personal Instagram. Okay, now I think we covered a few things that I I, I, I feel real good about to letting people know about you, because I wanted to qualify that you was a real boss. <laughs> I ain't want them to just think, oh, she's cute, so he just she interviewed fake her because she's cute, but she, she ain't really friend. no that's boss, a, that's a right. Friend, right? Nah, so we she had to nah, book. we had to qualify that you was a boss and you was making boss moves, because everybody be saying that they want they a boss. And, 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 or they want well, to be a boss. Everybody's on Instagram is a boss. They right. sell t-shirts, they're a boss. Right. right, and my whole thing is I always try to tell people, like, what really makes you a boss? Because you just said you're a boss. Right. Like, you can't be a boss in the dawn. You're a boss in the dawn because you take care and you provide for your people. That's right. You know what I'm saying? You just don't make yourself a boss. Right. You know what I'm it, saying? Your people make you a boss. Right. right. And that's kind of what we do as a people. Is, and I hate it when that saying came out, yeah, I'm doing my thing. I think that was the decline of, like, even all of the social structure in the underworld. When everybody started saying I'm doing my thing, I'm doing me, I don't, I can't stand right. that because I come out of the era when everybody had crews. Yeah, I'm going to leave alone for out of Coney sure. Island. Everybody, they crew, they block, they team. It's just some me, me, me doing me, and I hate that because that's been the demise and the decline of our structure and who we are because we don't really do the proper networking. So again, I wanted to come plug in with you, give you the vibe. 
let everybody know this is how you're doing what you're doing because of your network. And again, one of the one of the profound things you said was your professionalism. Of course. You know I'm saying that you ain't just a cute face and sleeping your way to the top and exactly. all of that because you're cute. Right. You know what I'm saying? And you it, know, it, it's not hard. It's not nothing wrong if you look good and that helps you. But then once you get in the door, make something of it. Right. You got to be That's able right. to. You got to be able to stay in the door. That one you know shot. You better make it work. So again, Jatan, like we're gonna close out now. I just want to thank you for coming. Gracious with your presence, coming on the round table, being the first woman on the round table. That's really big. I want you to understand that. Yes, I'm um, privileged. Again, thank you. super proud of you. We're gonna close out. You can give everybody, you know, your handles and your contact information okay. like that. And um Well, I'm Jatan Green from Jatam Shoes. We're located in Garden State Plaza, Paramus, New Jersey. We're on Instagram as Jatam Shoes, J-E-T-A-I-M-E Shoes, S-H-O-E-S-S. -S. We have a website, jatamshoes.com. Check us out. We got the hottest, exclusive shoes, dresses, whatever you need, we can take care of you. Also, check me out if you're looking to buy a house and you're serious, you're not trying to waste my time. You got a I 740, at least 700 FICA score. But you do have to have good credit. <laughs> yes, credit is important. Do not call me talking about you do not have credit. Green prestigious properties, look me up, Jatan Green at yahoo.com at yahoo if you want to buy a house. Thank you. Another segment of the round table of Dale Son Holloway, Executive Vice President of Dawn Diva Global Media, Dawn Diva Magazine. This is the round table. Hi, I'm Jatan Green. I have to shout out the fabulous Delson. Thanks for having me. I'm privileged to be part of the round table, Global Grind, Don Devo Global. Thank you very much. Love it. Love the movement. I'm going to support. Y'all make sure y'all tune in. Who are with brave women? Keep the way he got the way spinning. Like a carousel talking a big